A few weeks back, a driver in Central Tennessee came across a DUI checkpoint. That driver, Chris Calbo, a junior at Middle Tennessee State University, had harmed no one. Yet the man who stopped his freedom of movement, A.J. Ross, an employee of the Rutherford County Sheriff's Office, barked orders at him. Video of the incident was posted online. Overnight, it had a million views. What happened to the last officer, please? Yes, sir. How you doing tonight? Pretty good. Go ahead and roll your window down for me. Uh, this is fine, sir. Do what? This is fine. That's fine? Yes, sir. Why is that fine? Because I can hear you. How old are you? Uh, is that a required question to answer? Uh, yes, sir, it is. I'm 21. Stay right there for me. Yes, sir. Why don't you just pull right over the side, right there, right there. Am I being detained? Pull over to the side right there. Am I being detained or come on out with your hands first? Wasn't a very good alert. Hey, Jeff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's running. Today, the video has over 4 million views, with mirrored versions likely having hundreds of thousands, if not millions more. The Rutherford County Sheriff's Office received thousands of phone calls and emails. They were ignored. Some in the area stopped by their facility and asked questions. Uh, I would like to get a comment as to the uh, uh, illegal traffic stop that Officer A.J. Ross made yesterday. They were rebuffed, told that it was being looked into. Many left comments on the Rutherford County Sheriff's Office Facebook page, but rather than address them, departmental personnel suspended that page. Despite the overwhelming outcry against A.J. Ross and his actions, he was not disciplined at all. His boss, Robert F. Arnold, said that he found no wrongdoing and that Ross's actions were completely appropriate. Are you surprised? Rutherford County 911 office. You've not heard anything about a town hall or anything like that at all where the public can, you know... No, sir, I haven't. Lieutenant Pagel, he works for the Sheriff's Department and he is investigating the matter. Yes, Lieutenant Pagel, this is Adam House. I'm a resident. Just seen the reports on News Channel 5 where Sheriff Arnold apparently stands by the deputy and says that these practices will continue. And I know for a fact that there are people in our community that would like to voice their disagreements, concerns, and frustrations. If it seems like those at the Rutherford County Sheriff's Office seem more concerned about protecting their own than protecting those they claim to serve, that's probably pretty accurate. In fact, that's due to the perverse incentives that are built in to law enforcement as it's structured today. So what's the solution? Arnold himself alluded to it, your trust. Do folks who act like A.J. Ross or who back him deserve your trust? Even the most dictatorial of tyrants depends on the acquiescence of those who they claim authority over. Can you imagine how Napoleon Bonaparte would be treated today if he arrived in Times Square, New York? And attempted to order a man put to death. Chances are he'd probably end up heavily medicated in a padded room by the end of the day, but for a few minutes people would probably have a good laugh. And rightly so. Separated from those who've been trained to obey them, even the most bloody heads of state are hardly more dangerous than a pickpocket or a mugger. What if you didn't accept that these corrupt institutions have to exist? What if you saw through the propaganda and realize that a course of monopoly can never be fixed. It can never provide justice. Do you think A.J. Ross was in the wrong? Can he rattle off countless other examples of aggression done by police employees who were never held accountable? Don't you owe it to yourself to consider a different alternative? One that doesn't say some people have extra rights?